Hello, welcome back my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue and today I'm going to show you undeniable proof that Harry has been lying to us all this time. Gingerbread arrived at the High Court in London for a hearing in his claim against the publisher of the Daily Mail over allegations of illegal behavior by the outlet's journalists. His arrival came ahead of the first court hearing and a lawsuit also brought by Elton John, Elizabeth Hurley and other high-profile figures against associated newspapers over alleged phone tapping and other breaches of privacy. I don't know what kind of phone tapping could harm Harry's privacy and reputation after he laid out everything that we did not want to know in his pair. And can't you imagine who was in charge of listening to Harry's phone and transcriptions? That guy needs an award. The group's lawyers issued a statement last year by alleging they have compelling and highly distressing evidence they have been the victims of abhorrent criminal activity and gross breaches of privacy by the newspaper group. And we have a video of Harry arriving at the London court. I don't know how many bodyguards were inside the car with him, but that will be relevant later on when he smashes into that photographer. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this moment when Harry was smiling to the public, that is important too, and he ran right into a man who was suspiciously straight ahead of him. Yeah, we got a free snapshot of an unsuspecting photographer getting a taste of Lambada Harry. And this is the kind of thing that I like from covering the royals and non-royals. You never never know what kind of memes you will get from any event. Such as nobody puts Howie in a corner except perhaps Methane herself. And you can imagine that if there's going to be a book titled Spare 2, this is the way that Harry will be describing this event. Absolutely brave and courageous. Although with so many torture references in Spare 1, I would not be surprised that his narrative is exactly as depicted by Janie Mack. He liked cameras quite a lot and treated me like a John Philly. Among the many things that were wrong, it was happening in public ahead of my high court appearance. We became closely entangled, and just as his huge camera lens came within inches of my lips, sadly, we separated. Now, I have a legit question. How exactly does this happen? Harry is with three or four bodyguards, all the area is, has been secured by his security. He looks ecstatic, happy with many other videographers and photographers on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, he bumps into one out of nowhere? I mean, I don't think Harry is devoid of clumsiness, and this could be just a casual bump into a bystander, but I can't help but think that this could have been a stage just to make some kind of point about no matter how much security do you have, there's always the possibility that somebody's going to pop out of nowhere. Never mind that last time Megan was in the UK, she had no problem rolling down the windows of the car they were in because, you know, security. And speaking of Megan, I found it funny that Bark Jack tweeted about Harry's hair implants. He had a lot of hair put in. Don't forget where you read this saga. More exclusives, campaign to make him more loose worthy. Ew. Coordinated misleading online cheerleaders galore. Obsession with Twitter. Oh, hello, Megan. Use of Frogmore until coronation. Now, regarding that supposed lot of hair put in in the same video published by The Telegraph, this is not AI, this is not Photoshop, this is the video posted by The Telegraph on YouTube, you can see that Harry's hair implant is nowhere to be found. Because this is the headline that we read not that long ago. Megan's massively behind it. Prince Harry to undergo £50,000 hair transplant after wedding. The ginger royal reportedly wants to pull a Wayne Rooney and get himself a luscious new barnet. So where is the lot of hair? Is it, I don't know, around his torture? Maybe Methane enjoys a good old classic bush? I think Harry should embrace the Judas Priest look that would do wonders for his self-esteem and also give him a more masculine image. And I want to go back to that smile. It's always like you see Harry without Meghan and he's a different person, a different man. Somebody who is happy and enjoying life. It is not that I'm joking about it. You can see it for yourself in this video. He is walking tall, looking around him. He was not staring at the floor as he usually does when he is with Megan. And I have made at least two videos that prove how Harry's body language changes when Megan is around and when Megan is not around. It is even funnier that he was not that happy when going out of the courthouse. Maybe he knew that his Megan holiday was about to end. And we also have reactions all over the internet. Evans E. Sussex Squad has got to be one of the dumbest groups in the world. They claim Harry came to London without telling the king. Do they really think there's no way Harry's passport would be scanned for the UK and the palace wouldn't know? She'll have to be kidding me. Again, no one in the royal family leaks against Harry and Meghan. That is Harry's paranoia. The real leaks are, however, his wife, James Holt, 
Mandana Dayani, and other Archibald staff. Also, add Daniel Martin, the makeup hair guy for Meg. Also, Margaret Lowery, your passport is scanned on the US side, uploaded to a computer, and they know before you get off the ground, let alone the plane in the UK. I have had the pleasure of meeting UK immigration several times on various levels of passports. They get bent out of shape if you travel on a government passport without notifying them ahead of time, like a week. Bart Jock again. Confirmed Prince Harry will not be visiting his father or brother's family on this UK trip. As well, King Charles retreated to his country home, Highgrove, after his state visit to France was cancelled at the last minute due to rioting there. And according to Dan Wooten, well done to King Charles for telling his treacherous son Prince Harry that he's too busy to see him on his sad and attention-seeking trip to the UK. There were always going to be very real consequences for attempting to destroy your family for Hollywood millions. This is one of them. Mad cartoons, Prince Harry is in the country. This is the changing of the locks. And no, Prince Harry will not hold face-to-face -face reconciliation talks with Prince William and Catherine despite surprise trip to UK. Prince Harry is expected to stay at Frogmore Cottage, uh, are you sure about that? In Windsor during his unexpected visit to London, which is just a few minutes walk from his brother, Prince William's home Adelaide Cottage. It is understood the Prince and Princess of Wales have taken their children away from Windsor this week for the start of the Easter holiday, so any reconciliation meeting with his arch nemesis is unlikely. But Megan Small says that Harry took a private jet to London and is staying at a hotel instead of Frogmore. What's stopping him from staying at the same hotel with his family during the coronation? For his privacy, I, I won't name his hotel. Maybe Harry applied Megan's strategy of using a pseudonym when checking in at the hotel. Maybe he used sunglasses all the time to hide his identity. Maybe that's why he left his hair implants at home so nobody could recognize him without them. My Royal Rogues, I would love to know what is your opinion in the comments of this video. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet in another video or another live, remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.